Zans, Toriel's on the phone. And we need to have a talk after this. Um, okay. What's up, Tori? How's it going? Hello, Sans. Your wife sounded a bit upset. Is there something wrong? Nah, don't worry about it, Tor. She's just a bit jealous. You should go and check on her. Don't worry, I know how to cheer her up. Anyway, what did she want to talk about? Come on, Dashi. Don't be sad. It was just Toriel telling me that Frisk wants to come over to see me because it's been a while since I saw Frisk. Okay. See? Yeah. Sans! <laughs> Wait a minute, since when do skeletons turn to cats? Uh, Sans and Papyrus are always able to do it at well. Sans is always a kitten with me. Meow! <laughs> <laughs> I mean, he's pretty persuasive. Sans! <laughs> oh my god, you're a bad influence on everybody! <laughs> Thanks for the petting section, kiddo. No prob. Um... Sans? That's not the reason I came here, though. Uh, what are you talking about? I came here to talk with you about... something... or... someone. Yes? I'm here to talk with you about... Kara. What? I thought we agreed we won't talk about this. Listen to me, Sans. I want to save Kara. Saving Kara? Seriously? She killed everyone we love. That was in the last timeline, and it wasn't her fault. Oh uh, yeah? Then who was possessing you? Last I checked, it was her. Come on, Sans. Wasn't she your friend before? Yeah, she was. But not anymore. My friends don't kill my other friends. Or, as a matter of fact, don't even kill my little bro. Listen, Sans, I know you're mad at Kara, but please, we have to help her. Wasn't she your best friend? What? Gotcha now, Skeleton Boy. Um, Sans, why are you crying? Sans, what's wrong? Uh, okay, Frisk. I'll... I'll help you save Kara. Wait a minute. Huh? You're right, Frisk. I shouldn't just abandon my friend just because of one bad thing. I should try to help and hope that they get better, right? So, anyway, kid. How do I help? Well... <gasps> you know, the pirates were used to be humans, right? And then someone killed you and you turned into skeletons flying with some sort of person who reminded you, right? So can you do something similar with this? Whoa, whoa, whoa there, kid. Seems that you don't know how uh, skeleton monsters work. You see, kid, there are two types of skeleton monsters. Natural and artificial. Let's begin with the natural type. The natural types usually have parents. Well, either if their parents were dead or not. Which is why me and Paps are from the natural type of skeletons, since we both do have parents. And we're brothers, so technically we have the same mom and dad. You, you get the story. Uh, the point is that they work very similar to humans, with their magic creating the body parts that they need to do, well, everything. 
such as stomachs, tongues, or pretty much anything else. So, yeah. Um, now we get to the artificial type of skeletons. The artificial type of skeletons is pretty different from the natural type, because these are mostly coming from wizards. When humans die, their body deserves. And they, the only thing that is left is a skeleton. That would be where the transformation part comes. That isn't caused by someone reviving them or something. That is mostly caused by being a wizard. If you were a wizard and you died, maybe if your soul was strong enough, your soul could transform from a human soul into a monster soul, turning you into a skeleton monster. Now you would be an artificial skeleton monster at that point. Why? It's because of you can't have an offspring, and well, other than that, you would not have most of the things that normal skeletons have, such as stomachs, tongues, or anything else. So at this point, you won't be able to eat. <laughs> uh, you won't even need to eat because of, well, yeah, you know. But what does that have to do with anything? Well, um... I was thinking to turn Kara into an artificial skeleton monster. Hmm, that would be possible if Kara still had her soul in her body. But that wouldn't be possible since Kara's soul disappeared when both her and Azriel died. No one managed to find Kara's soul at all. And I don't think that, th that we can actually do something about it. Well, we can go back to Mount Ebbet and bring Kara's body, but we won't be able to, well, transform her. And besides, this thing needs her to do the transformation, not us. But this doesn't make any sense. If Kara's soul disappeared, then how do I still hear her? Huh? You see, ever since I first fallen down to the underground, there has been this weird voice that's been following me around, narrating everything I'm doing until I found out that this voice was Kara. She was narrating everything I'm doing. Such as when I looked in the mirror, she said, It's you, Frisk. No matter what you do, it's still you. It's me, Kara. She said all that stuff. She even narrates so many other things, like Toriel blocks the way, Papyrus is fearing you, and other stuff. And, like, uh, she narrates her jokes or something like that. Hmm. I always knew that Kara had a sense of humor, but that doesn't make any sense. Wait, didn't she- didn't her soul disappear? Maybe she is some kind of a spirit now? Hmm. Could be right, kid. But at that point, she would be bound to you by determination. You'd need to get a way to separate you both from each other. There's no need to do that. I'm already separated from Frisk thanks to that dumb genocide run. Ah! Oh my god! <laughs> Kara, you almost gave me a heart attack! Oh, come on, Sans. Both you and I know that you don't have a heart. Are you calling me? Heartless. To be continued, because I have so many problems with my life and I want to die. <laughs> and because of this video is being too long. For the first time, I actually made a Gacha Club video that actually made it for 10 minutes! Thank God! Or wait a minute, it's not 10 minutes, is it? Or is it going to be? Anyway, I'm gonna leave you with the bloopers. Later! Their soul will transform from a, from a monster... <laughs> Yay! That is a long ass explanation, but I finally freaking said that freaking dumbass explanation. Hey guys, it's me, Diamond Heart, and um. Well, I am actually making this part of the video because I wanted to say that the reason why am I telling you guys to subscribe to my YouTube channel and all that stuff isn't because I want any YouTube money or any of that stuff. I, I, I just want to feel like I am important for some reason. Like, I feel like my life has no point and that there is nothing important that I should do with my life and that I sometimes even think of killing myself and... I don't matter, but 
I don't want to think that of myself. And even my best friend is trying to comfort me and making me feel a little better. So I thought maybe if I made myself a YouTube channel, I would feel less worse. And maybe the people that are supporting me will be able to help me feel better. So, um, if you don't mind, that is, like, comment, and subscribe. Help a depressed person get through their depression. I'm so depressed, like, I've been thinking of throwing myself off the window so many freaking times. And I just think I lost the ability to smile or feel anything. So, are you guys supporting me and helping me? would be a lot of help. It would make me really happy and it would make me feel like I'm wanted or that I'm needed. So, um, yeah. Thank you for watching. Part 2 will come out soon. Just like and subscribe and you will see when I upload it. Hopefully I don't take as long as I took to make this video because I've had so many problems with my life and I just want to jump off the window. Anyway, uh, thank you all so much and yeah.